This is part C of the atoms project or the element project. Okay, we're going to have to make some changes to this because we will not be presenting in class. Um, so here is what you're going to be doing. Instead of making a slide, you are going to be using sheets of paper and you are going to use um, just the sheet of paper and you're going to create essentially a Google slide, but on paper. So like each sheet of paper would be a different slide. So we're going to walk through um, and what your presentation is going to be. You are going to video yourself holding up the sheets of paper um, on your Chromebook. And that's what you will be using to present and then I will be watching your videos um, for your presentation. So you will not be getting up in front of the class and presenting, you will just be presenting to your computer and then you will be submitting that to me for a grade. So here is what we're going to discuss. At the very, um, we've already discussed the slide situation. So instead of slides, you're using sheets of paper. Um, now you can have no less than six. So six is the very minimum that you can use. But also you do not need to use more than 10 slides or papers. Um, I don't need a humongous project. I, 10 is your maximum. All of these things have to be covered in this project. So you will have to group them together on certain sheets of paper to discuss them. Make good use of graphics and animations. So don't go crazy. I don't want to see a ton of colors and pictures all over your paper, but I also don't want it to just be a pencil written um, papers. So it needs to be, you know, um, colorful, but organized. Um, and then it says don't include many sounds or special effects, but because you're doing it on paper, you're not going to have that problem. So you just need to um, make sure that you do include some pictures, maybe some pictures of your element. You can trace these. Um, you can print them off at home. Do not ask another teacher to print them off. But if you have a printer at home, you can do that. But I would really encourage you just to um, draw and color these different um, slides and pictures. And you're going to need to make sure that you cite all of your information. So we're going to talk more about that when we get to the very bottom. All right, so the presentation, you are going to be holding up the paper. So you need to make sure that your presentation, you have practiced it and you know what you're talking about. So if you're very easy to understand, um, you're easily heard, you take this very seriously, then I'm going to give you full credit. If you can't hardly hear you and you're giggling or acting silly, you're going to get partial credit. And then if I can't understand you at all, you're soft spoken or you're mumbling, you're giggly or you, giggly, or you did not present at all, then you get zero. Um, time limit. It cannot be more than five minutes, but it cannot be less than three minutes. And I will take off points if you go over or under. The delivery, it needs to be well rehearsed. You're not going to be able to look at this presentation because you're going to be holding them up to the camera um, and you're going to, all we're going to be able to see is your face and your sheet of paper. So it needs to be well rehearsed. Um, you need to have, um, you know, I don't want to see you, you reading word for word off your screen. Then if you have more than one error or um, you can tell that you have rehearsed it, and it's pretty smooth, but it's not perfect. It's going to be partial credit. And then if it did not go well at all, it was not smooth, you clearly did not rehearse, um, you read off your presentation, it's going to be zero to five. Content organization. Your content is going to be based off that research page that you have already done on part one. So you already have all of this material. You're just going to be organizing it onto pages. Um, and making it look more presentable. So if your content is correct, then I will be giving you full credit. But like if you say that hydrogen has six protons, well, that's not correct. So I can't give you full credit for that. Um, so if it's good, nice, organized content, then you'll get full credit. If it's not organized, um, you know, you just slap some words on a sheet of paper, I'm not giving you full credit for that. Um, requirements. You met all 13 of those requirements, then you get full credit. If you have less than 13, you'll get partial credit, and if you have less than 6, you'll get 0 to 5. For research, 
um, you can tell that you've done a lot of research. You know, those interesting facts that you found are legitimate facts, not just that carbon is cool um, or helium is a gas. That's not deep research. If you have done your research and the presentation is nice and thorough, you're going to get full credit. If I can tell that you you sped through your research and you didn't really put a whole lot of effort into it, then you're going to get partial. And if there's hardly any research available, then it's going to be zero to five. Now, these citations are going to be on the very last page. You're going to list all of the websites that you found the information or the pictures from, or you're going to list where you found the information in your notes on how you got that information. Okay, so it may say like, um, atomic structure concept one part two or concept three part one notes and you'll write that on that last page so if you use all 10 slides for your 13 then you need to combine them and figure out how to have nine slides plus a um, citation page because you are only allowed 10 slides total so make sure or 10 pages total so make sure that your information is presentable, it's nice and organized, and that you um, really take your time to make this look appropriate. And if you have any questions, you can contact me through my email.